New set of fillet knives. We needed that. Oh man, did we need that. All right, we've got the Danko. What do we got here? We got the, we decided to get the Danko pull-up bag pull up kit. bag kit. It was pretty cheap at Mad Dog Bait and Tackle. 50 bucks for a three set. Not bad. Three, three set thing. Let me get a little photo there for the thumbnail. Now oh, it's time to open it. Gonna open it up. Yeah. It says it has a five inch flex blade, a seven inch flex knife, and a nine inch stout for the big boys in a bag. Come on, man. Let's, let's bust the sucker open. And while you're opening that, we've got a cooler full of yellowtail snapper to test it out. You looking forward to testing that thing out? Rizzo? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, buddy. Whoa. Okay. It looks kind of fresh. So they look real fresh. This is a small one. Yeah. Oh, it's sharp. That's it's already a, sharp. It's a small one. It's a little dusty. Okay. Look at that. All little right. Danko. Little Danko. This is the. What is this one? This was the. That's the medium size flex. Mm hmm. That's probably what you would fillet your snapper with, yeah, I would imagine. Average size, I yep. think. Oh, it's really nice. Yeah, that's probably gonna be your main blade. Yeah, and then there's this big guy. Big dog. This is, if we ever catch the big mahi or something. Mahi kings. Snook even. Snook. Or we're okay. gonna sharpen. All right. Now, we're not done with that yet. Oh yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Now okay. we have the bag underneath. Bag underneath. Boom. Bada bing. Stores each knife very nicely. Okay. So we're going to make sure that these knives are nice and clean, right? Before we yes. put them in there? Because our old ones. It's a little rank. Yeah. Okay. Good. And that, Lorenzo, you also bought a sharpening stone, right? Yeah, we also bought a sharpening stone. Let's yeah, that. so we're going to sharpen these bad boys, guys. And we are going to let you know right out the box how the Danko knife performs the guy the, the guy at the tackle shop said that it was uh um a, a great knife and he loves it he has the same kit he uses it all the time so we'll see what we think about that all right buddy boy he says it stays sharp so. stay sharp all right well we definitely don't need that one no, so, so let's let's sharpen the uh medium one. the medium one okay lorenzo wet his 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 uh stone let's see so this one is probably the rougher one so that's probably the one you would do first then you would flip it over is it really yeah and then you flip it over and you and you make it even sharper with the smoother one okay okay so why don't you go ahead and do that son so so you just have to get like the whole entire knife like that yeah right right yeah there you go and just flip it around and then you have to do it at the same angle. Yep, same angle. Probably like, I don't know, like a 45 degree angle. Let me move this out of your way. I don't think we're gonna need those. You can only see it's already sharper. Sharper. Okay, sharpening stone is a great thing to have, guys. And we've been using those little handheld devices for sharpening and it's gotten us by, but I think it's gonna be good to have one of these. It's not that expensive either. No, it's a couple bucks. It's just good to have those things out in the field with you when you're when you're fishing. You can give it a quick sharpen. I can also do it faster. I just don't wanna mess up that first yeah. thing. Yeah. All right, why don't you flip it over and do the fine fine blade, fine sharpen. Oh, I think that was a fine. You think? Oh, yeah, never mind, never mind. Does it feel sharper? Oh yes. Okay. Oh yeah. I say we go with that and we'll see how we do. Man, let's test this sucker out. What do you say? All right. Let's... All right. So we've got some yellow tails in here in a, in a mangrove. I'll get the mangrove. Mangrove it's first. Nice mango. All right. Yeah. Get some of the juices off first. Okay. Bring that mangrove over here. Lorenzo loves his mangrove snapper. Loves him. Loves him. I don't think anybody could love them as much as two, George, though. Well, you know, they're, they're amazing. In fact, it's probably one of my favorite fish to eat, if, 
if only we get get into some of those really bigger ones okay so so far it's like really sharp yeah yeah we're gonna field test the danko here guys okay really that looks nice so far so far so good really good cut nice and easy yeah See, we don't bother scaling our, uh, or descaling our snapper because... We skin it afterwards. We skin our snapper. That didn't work over. This is that sharp. Okay. Okay, now we're going to flip it over and stir it in this side. This fish is so cold. Is it? Yeah. Nice and cold. All right, so far it's looking pretty smooth. How's the grip feel? It feels pretty good when wet. I missed a little bit of tail meat there. Was that the knife's fault or your fault? It's my fault. Not the knife's fault. Let's look how clean that white meat is. Man. Tony Davis from Mission Fishing. I actually have his hat on right now. Nonprofit guys, they sponsor kids. Oh, that's cold. Special needs kids, bringing special needs kids fishing. So if you want a great cause, check out Mission Fishing. Just like that. And uh, he's on Instagram, great guy, great cause. And um, he gave us some fish from his recent trip. Oh my. And what happened there, buddy? Did you cut right through the spine? Yeah, I didn't even feel that. Oh wow, so that's that's actually interesting. Our new Danko knife cut right through the spine. Lorenzo didn't even feel it. it sliced right through it. So now he's gotta go salvage. Salvage, baby. Salvage job here. All right, it looks like you did pretty good with that. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> well, Lorenzo, you are a little bit impulsive. Um, well, I don't know what happened there. What do you Wait, let me analyze here, guys. Let me analyze how we did on our filet. Do this side. <laughs> do that side. Okay. Missed a little bit of meat right there. Oh my god. Uh, okay. we'll just, just now be, we're you know. Yellowtail. Okay. Now we did okay. We we had a little bit of a Look you at know. this yellowtail. It's a nice one. All right, make sure we drip them out. They are gutted. The yellowtails are gutted. Oh my gosh. Bring that thing over here, buddy. Okay. Okay. Nice All right. One. That's a nice tail, man. We're gonna enjoy eating these guys. We'll probably eat them tomorrow night. Get these guys filleted. Oh, so nice. Oh, that's a big, look how big the tail is. Let me see here. Stop, stop for a sec. Look at that tail. It's flag. That's, well, it's not quite flagish, but oh, okay. we'll take that all day and twice on Sunday. Tony did the did us the favor of. Did I cut through it again? Yeah, you just cut through the spine again. It's okay. So we did. How how is the meat? Is it firm? It's nice and cold. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's freezing cold. That's good, because yellowtail oh. meat is softer than uh, than mangrove. It's like black in the middle. Do you see that? No. Really sharp. It's a nice knife. You like it so far? Yeah, I like it. Okay. You you have a feeling we're gonna do some damage with it? Yeah. For sure. Okay. We just now have to see how it. Uh, it's a very yeah. reasonable price for you get three knives for for fifty bucks. It's not bad. Oh, that's so oh, cold, man. That. Do you want me to start? You want me to take over? Or you no. got this. I'll do a better job, anyways. Yeah. You should do it. With the, okay. It's okay. You're gonna be okay with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I, want my, I want some yellowtail. I want me some yellow tail, buddy boy. You should go all the way through there. Yeah, you and should. Trim out, trim it out off the back. Oh, well. It's good. Is it? Okay. You shouldn't really cut towards your hand. No, you shouldn't cut towards your hand. I'm going to do it anyways. Cut towards his skull. Oh, I cut through his body just like that. Yeah, well, 
That's pretty good. That's a good filet job. I'm gonna say so myself. Yeah, we'll take it. Ooh, it's a big one. It's a big one? All right, let's try one more. And let's just make sure that we have a, a right representation of filetosity. Should we leave one just like that? No. I personally don't like cooking with the heads of my fish on, but that's just me. Maybe I'm just a little snob. There you go, a little bit more finesse, I like that. Ow. Okay, make your line on the other side, there you go. Poked myself. A little bit, make your line, don't go too deep, there you go. That's a nice sharp knife, I like that. That's looking good, buddy. Just decided to mess it up right there. Yeah, you just butchered it. No pun intended. I want some fingers. Mm -hmm. There you go. Go in. There you go. Don't cut towards the fingies. It's okay. You went over the rib cage. Okay. Let's cut it there out. There you go. Boom. We'll take that. We'll take that. What are you doing? I don't know. There. Oh, mushy. Yeah. Yellowtail meat is a lot softer than mangrove meat. I really should have left that other side on. Yep. I always leave them on. I make my lines. I start cutting into it. And then before taking it off, I, I chop through the other side. Uh, that looks better, son. That looks like you know how to fillet. There we go. I like that. There we go. I like that. I like that. Okay. Boom. All right, son. That's that's a great fillet right there. Good fillet, job. buddy. All right. Final analysis. Danko knives. Okay, so Let's like, take a look. Wait, hold on, let me wash it. Yeah, wash it off real quick. Just do it a little justice. Okay, so, yep. so like we didn't even sharp it that much, and like right off the bat, it was really sharp. Like it okay. was like really sharp, and like and like you can tell it's like really sharp. And yeah, it's it cut. So, let me see the flexibility on the blade. Let's see. Is it more stiff? Yeah, it's a little flexible. Okay. All but right. like I would actually rather have it like that. You would. Yeah. Okay, so like. So it cut it cut through like the backbone of that fish. And the super handle feels easy. nice. Let me feel the yeah. handle. Let me feel. I handle. mean, when it's wet, it's like even still nice right there. Yeah. Okay. It's got a nice nice handle. It's got like this little thing in the back here that you can kind of use to push against. And, uh, we'll see. So yeah. I we'll mean, see about durability. That's going to yeah. be a test of time. I mean, I think that's a pretty good knife. Uh, it did a pretty good job. Yep. Good job, Lorenzo. Good fillet job. We will see about the durability of the Danko knife. Guys, like, subscribe, and share. Um, Mission Fishing, Tony Davis, thanks for the yellowtail and the mangrove snapper. We're gonna eat good tonight. Until uh, yeah. next time, guys. Watch your lip. Watch your lip. Oh, yellowtail snapper, baby.